What's up guys, it's King Daddy DMac, and welcome back to another episode of Hermit Unleashed here on the Hermitcraft server. Yeah, baby, feed the beast. So, yeah, it is real late Saturday night, or Sunday morning, I guess, technically, depending how you want to categorize things. And, um, yeah, just finished the other episode a little bit ago, so fresh in my mind, we just set up our beginnings, well, I guess a good good bit of AE. We have AE now throughout our entire base, so that is very good. So much easier to access stuff. And today, I'd like to get sort of the second half of this going. Get our molecular assembly chamber going so we can get some auto crafting done and automation. Nothing too major. We're not going to go crazy, crazy, crazy today. But definitely something needs to get done. It's going to save me a lot, a lot, a lot of time. Anywho, before that, yeah, where's all the lava? I shut down my lava, produ well, not production, but the usage down here and everything because, yes, it's finally happened. Our pump is done pumping. We still got a ton of lava. But it's time to switch the pumps. And what did I say when that happens? We, which one, this one's auto crafting, we are going to use the endothermic pump. I'm so excited. So not too bad. Diamond, obsidian, bucket of water, bucket of lava, ender eye. Yeah. So pretty similar to the other pump. Not too bad. All right. Get out of there. And let's head over and let's see if we can set this bad boy up. Ooh, I got a whole bunch of stuff I want to throw in here. I'll get to this in a moment. I'll, I'll, I'll get to this in a moment. We'll talk about it. What's going on here? Let's get over. Let's do this lava. Bam. So, I've never used this thing. Not too familiar. Hey, it's grass in the middle of a lava ocean. Not super familiar with how it works. So, hopefully, hopefully it won't give me any problems. It will work immediately. Um, I kept bringing up in videos that I didn't get to show this. Um, you probably saw it. Basically, when we first set this up, we had all sorts of rigmarole going on. And, in fact, this isn't even necessary. And the setup for a pump, you can just have a pump, have the Tesseract directly touching it. There is no glitch anymore, and this is probably the fastest way for it to pump out lava. And then you can also just have the magmatic be directly touching it too, and it will pump into the magmatic. So that's not too bad. It really is going to save on resources and make what was already easy even easier. But let's see if we can do the same setup with our new guy. Don't fall down there, please. And I think this might even include a chunk loader in it. So that's going to be awesome. I'm really excited. So what should we do? Let's let's set up our pump. Where's a good area? Let's go to a nice, clean new area. Do I have a waypoint set? Ugh, I don't think I set a waypoint. Let's do that because that's the last thing we want. Is to freaking get lost in this place. So waypoint. Yeah, it got deleted when we, we changed the server IP recently. Um, exit. Done. And done. And back to game. In fact, I, I'll, I'll set up a book later. That's not important. Whoa. Gotta stop taking off that jetpack. So, let's go over here. Looks a little bit less traveled. I want to get some good bang for my buck. I don't like to move these all that often. Because it is a little bit of a pain in the butt. Not hugely, but a little bit. And let's see if this this works. If it's got a little thing that comes out, or if you're supposed to set it at the same level as lava. That I do not know. So let's get our little pumpy pumpy pump. Let's get something to set it against. So go like this and like that. Pump will not function in this dimension. What? Are you kidding me? So it only works in the nether, maybe? Or it doesn't work? Okay, let's... let's. Oh, I don't want it to fall and die. Alright, let's go underneath. I need to make a coin of suck. That's what I call the coin of fortune. We need to do that, because that would be hugely... Very, very nice. Why Why would you not work in this dimension? Alright, let's, let's, let's try it again. Pump will not function in this dimension. Why? Why? Oh, lordy lord. That's not what I wanted to see. 
oh man, this just stinks. So I looked it up and yes, this only works. This block only works. The endothermic pump in the nether. And whoa, whoa, don't make me fall in. Apparently it's something that you can change in the config file for the server. And the reason it's set to only the nether is to prevent griefing. Cause I guess this guy can do some nasty, nasty stuff in the overworld. And if you make it work in a dimension, it will also work in the overworld. Um, I talked to the powers that be. They don't want to change the config. So, so be it. We also made the promise that we weren't gonna do our pumping in the nether. I just want to confirm that this works in the nether, but we said we weren't gonna pump lava in the nether just because it makes it ugly once you have a kajillion people doing it. And it seems kind of silly because the, this this whole block, it's kind of like, you know, the aqueous accumulator. It was, I think that's the right block that I'm talking about. That was just made because it's better. It, it's for function. It's for saving server CPU. It, it doesn't have any actual like liquid movement or whatever. It has a built-in chunk loader, I believe. So it would just make the server perform better when you got a lot of people pumping lava, but what you gonna do? So we tried, we tried and it doesn't work. Disappointed, but whatever. So anyway, <laughs> let's get on to the things that matter for today. Um, oh, I wanted to make one of the, I wanna make a couple of these clocks. I wanna set them, oh, did we use all of our gold? No, we gotta make some more gold. Let's get some more gold working out and yeah i'll get that in there so anyway can we do we have any frames are they called frames let's see we don't want to be in this one anyway we want to be in the crafting one frame is it called a frame yeah item frame all right let's make some item Oh, we don't have enough. We're out of sticks. Whatever. One is enough. Let's get this. I just have, with this world, it looks like gold blocks. I wish it was. It's dirt. Dirt gold. Um, I have the hardest time telling sometimes whether it's day or night around here. I guess it's kind of obvious today, but it rains a lot. And I like to be able to know what time of day it is. So it's pretty neat. You can put an item on a item frame and it will continue to turn and let me know so i'll probably set these around the house keep my inventory so i can tell also when we're downstairs working anyway let's get to the stuff that we want to get going today all right so we want to get going on our molecular assembly chamber thingamabobber i've got all the stuff here that we want to craft so we want to get the containment walls we want to get the pattern provider the CPUs, heat vents, we're gonna make some patterns and the pattern encoder. So, pretty neat. Let's get this, I have them all pre-crafted, save you a little bit of time today. And here we have the pattern encoder. And what this bad boy is gonna do, you throw pattern things, actually you can put them, a bunch of them in there now, which is pretty cool. And let's say we wanna make, let's, let's do something here. Let's say for ME stuff, we want to make more CPUs, okay? Bam, pretty neat. It just works right off the NEI now. You used to have to put in each single one, and then you can just go encode, and then bam, you got your little pattern thing. Now, how do we use the pattern things? All right, we are gonna make our first little chamber thing. So first taking the containment walls and we're gonna do the smallest one possible on camera. We're gonna do a three by three by three. So of course the walls are gonna be all the sides of it. And then we're gonna put heat vents on all the spots that are not on the edge, all the middle spots. And then let's go up one higher. Pretty neat. And then in the middle, the last thing that is required is a pattern provider. This kind of works as like the chest for this multi-block structure. Other things that can go in the middle are CPU. And in fact, let me just point this out. If we were to put just a CPU in here, 
and CPUs are what make it go faster, can do more functions, more stuff. We put in just that, is that the one we want? No, and that wouldn't be real proof of it anyway, because here we need to have those wall things, because they have to be on all the corners. Bam. So right there, didn't make the multi-block structure. So you cannot have it with just a CPU. But you can have it with just the pattern provider. So let's put that in pattern provider. And boom, makes a multi-block structure. Sweet. So this is the smallest one you can make. And then you can throw your stuff in there. And yeah, can make a CPU. Now this isn't hooked up yet to our system. You have to have it either touching another one of the interfaces or hopefully we have enough cable, please, please. Yes, just enough. And now it is connected, so it gets power. And notice we only have one page. That's because we only have one of those pattern provider thingies. This is the encoder and what's in there is the provider. So if you add more of those in the center, you'll get more pages. So we can now look at what are craftable things. We can now craft CPUs. We'll craft one. I probably have a couple other of them in there, but then we can grab CPU and I had more already made, but yeah, our one that we craft was in there. We'll craft one more just to show, just to show. Begin and boom, awesome. So we don't even need a CPU in there, but we want to make it go faster. So. I'm going to build a bunch of these and again see only one page i'm going to put in one thing for a couple of pages and then why don't we take a look at it have some fun with it all right so i think this is going to be what i start with here let me just show you how deep it is it's one two five deep looks like five deep yeah should be five deep and should fit in good here should be a good start and i've got this all filled up with all CPUs except for two pattern providers. So that should be good. So now let's throw on our last heat vents and boom. Oh, and I also got it all within chunk borders. Sorry, let me take that dinghy off. So pretty good. So now we can put our stuff in there. I just wanna show you kind of, if you're new to this, the progress of how this works. Let me erase these two. So let's say we wanna auto craft, get redstone torches auto craftable so you can't just go and say okay redstone torch let me see let's get some sticks all right so you can't just go i want a redstone torch encode throw it in there and then expect that let's see redstone let's take that one out expect that you can get it craft see it's not showing up right now if we looked and craft items we have that there but it's not showing up as a craftable item oh well of course it's not because it's not connected yet Derp. all right let's connect this and then restart our example okay so now it has power now it's connected now it will make sense so once again we made that pattern we put it in there if we look in here and at our patterns, we have that. We have none in the system. So redstone torch, if I do craft and do begin, what's taking so long? Where is it? It's not working. Well, why is it not working? In fact, you know what would be a good example for this? I got something else made. Let's see, craft. This Emmy crafting monitor. Let me just show you the recipe for that. It's nothing too fancy. Yeah, but it makes hopefully stuff like this easier. So where can we can be touching this and get power? So we'll just do it there for now. And then I'll move it someplace that looks nice later. So when you set a new thing into the system, it cancels all current crafts. So let's do this again. So redstone stone torch, begin. Alright. It's not working, not working. And it's saying it's because it's currently trying to craft sticks, but it's missing materials, sticks. Well, it's because we did not yet tell it how to craft sticks. So to cancel, we press left click and click item and it cancels the craft. So that's because we have to now also 
tell it all the stages to get to there. Well, believe it or not, we gotta go first, log into wood, encode. Okay, next step would be take that wood, make it into sticks. Oh, we don't want 62, we just want one, encode. Okay, so now we have, should have all the steps now. So we have first the wood into the law, um, into the planks, the planks into the sticks, and then into the redstone. So nothing currently crafting. Let's do this now. Redstone's torch and begin. It should be almost instantaneous, I would assume. Did we? Yep, and there we go. Our one redstone torch. So let's do take that out. Let's craft now a stack of them. Begin. And we can watch it slowly go. It's crafting stick by stick. All right, guys. So that that's pretty much the basics of how to do auto crafting, which is pretty neat. Um, We've got probably around 10, 10, 15 minutes left. So I'd like to start setting up some basics with automation around here. We're not going to probably go too much further um too too much further before we start to set up for a move but let's get that let's get some more wires and let's get out i want to find an me interface where is you all right we got three let's make one more thank you so i think this should be good for starting off and i want to do something else now with this pattern provider. Let's clear that out. And by the way, I now have everything I need to make up to the 64K, which is very cool. Um, let's, let's see here. One thing we're gonna need to get automated is this quartz dust. So let's grab some of this. Let's grab, oh, are we really this low on nether quartz? We might have to go on a journey to the nether again soon. Let's see if we have any in here. Oh, we are really low. This is not good. Not good. Um, we can probably make a miscraft world that has those as tendrils if we can get that page. Anywho, um, here's another thing you can do. I can say one of those equals one of these and do an encode there. Now this is interesting because it doesn't straight craft into it. We have to set it up with a system. Another thing I want to do is let's get some glass because that's another thing that has to be renewed. So let's say I'd like to have a stack of glass. Let's go upstairs real quick and just get ourselves a stack. Oh no! Did I really do that? <laughs> Alright, this is close enough. Close enough! Man, it is getting really late. I'm recording this Saturday night. And it's like oh, 5 in the morning already. Um, We'll finish you later. So we need more sand. So let's get this into a stack of sand. We got to start doing some more upgrades on our machines to make it faster. Slip, I was looking at his. His art is just like absurdly fast. He has so many overclockers, it's just like instantaneous. This this line right here just like stays white. It's so beautiful. Anyway, so the sand and let's turn this to glass. Grab some more of that. And do we have sand in the system? Only, oh no. All right, so let's make another stack of sand. Got our stack of glass. All right, and while this is going, let's get this introduced to Emmy. We're gonna throw, I guess this will probably be the best way to do it. This is pretty ugly, so we'll set up a better system, have more of these machines elsewhere. This will be easy to at least do right now, today, in the time we have left. So we'll just go like that. That will connect those guys together. Sorry, Mr. Zombie. Really, I'm sorry. And that will connect those together. All right. We'll throw... Where should we put these guys? We'll go... Derp. 
derp. Okay. So what was I doing? What was I doing? Sand. We got the glass. Do we have all the glass? Okay. Let's go back down. Let's finish up these patterns that we're trying to do. So this pattern makes the nether quartz. Next, we're going to go cobblestone, but we want a stack. How do we make it? Okay, there's a stack. A stack of that turns into a stack of sand. Let's make a oh, pattern of that. Let's get these patterns in here. And then a stack of sand makes a stack of glass in code. All right, so this should be good. Let's go back upstairs. And let's tell it here. We're going to, in the macerator, we're going to make the nether quartz. And we're going to make the sand. All right, right? Okay, so that's good. And then this one is going to take the sand and turn it into glass. Perfect. So let's now go back downstairs. And currently in our system, let's see, glass, we have no glass, sand, we have no sand, but we have the cobble and also the quartz, we have no quartz. So let me throw this back in the system. For this, let's craft 10. Let's make sure it's working. Oh, I guess we did have more. We're, no, I just shifted that in. So is that making the quartz dust slowly, maybe? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is still called quartz, right? All right, so let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Why are you not going in? Did we put it in the right one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it doesn't have a place to pull it out. So to pull it out, oh, this is gonna end up being so ugly, so ugly. We have to do an interface on the other side of it to go there to pull it out. Oh, I was hoping I could just do it from the top, but I forget that you can't. All right, so here's our solution for this. Let's see, ME, and where's, we can do the simple one. I don't think we have to do a precision per se. So basic import bus. Let's grab four of those. We should in fact probably throw it on every machine. So it would be like that, 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 and that. And then these are not connected on this side. So I need one more cable like this. And that connects all of it together. Okay, so that's all good. So now this should work. Yeah, and it pulled it out. So let's look again in that system. Quartz. I pulled the dust out manually, I believe. Right? Craftable items, storage and craftable. Okay, so if I go craft, 10, begin. There we go. Now we see it going. And if I did it stack at a time, it might go a little bit quicker, but that's fine. So now let's also try the glass. And the glass is coming from the cobble. So glass. So it's going through two different steps here. For this, let's do two stacks and let's watch this happen. So it's pulling out the cobble. It's going into there. Cool. Then it's taking... Hopefully it should be. It's supposed to take the sand and put it into this guy. Maybe it's waiting until it's got a full amount before it does it. Okay, so now it's sent in the second one. There we go. So it waited till it had the full stack before it started. So that's interesting. I don't know if that's something I like or don't like. But either way, it's cool. And then we can now see when we look back in the system, of course, if I can spell, glass, awesome, and we have it there. So 64, and then it should go up to 128. It's probably waiting for that full stack again, and boom, now it's going. That is freaking awesome. So I think I may start to move away from the IC machines and start using level emitters and the... Um, 
guys like this, the thermal expansion or build craft type stuff. So I think I'll start working that for the next episode. And I'd also like to get to our mass fabricator soon. Because this guy is really affordable and we've got all that lava power. So, and with that we can make UU matter. So we're going to have to get some scrap box production going. So we're going to have to make some of those recyclers. Let's look at that. I might like to get that going today. Oh, compressor. Oh, recycler, R-E-C. So compressor, dirt. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. So I think I'm going to start getting working on that, and we can maybe even get UU Matter starting next episode and also get all the stuff from our quarries auto-processed. And just get all the ores in here. Yeah, so we, we got a lot of work to go, but a lot of fun stuff to do. And I also, let's end off, I wanted to show you some places. I was considering going to the Red Rock again. Is it day or night? This is the sun. Go See, this is why I need that clock. Let's look. Clock. And look at that. Even when it's, I don't even have to take it out. I can just look there. So the sun is coming up right now. So that's good. I was thinking of living at the Red Rock again. It's not, I don't like the texture as much as the old one, but this one's a little bit further away. There's one more that I found a spoon a while ago that was really cool. Cooler than this one even. There's a red rock and a green rock. I don't know what the green rocks are called. And this is called a me uh, mesa. And then it's bordering with this biome. Which is called... Well, that's a river. Hold on. Icy Hills. I thought I had a cooler name than that. But this is freaking sweet. Look at this. This is a smaller one. But it's got these ice trees. <laughs> and it randomly spawns snowmen. Hey, guy, if I hit you, you fight me? Come on, fight. Fight me. But if they continually, I'm not sure how those guys spawn, but if they continually spawn, it would be a fun way to get snow. And maybe even pumpkins. Do they sometimes drop pumpkins? I forget. Do you ever drop pumpkins? No, just snowballs. But still a fun way to get snow, setting up some type of mob trap later. It'd be neat if he could grow ice trees. But... Anyway, just a neat biome. Let me know what you think. If I should live in the Red Rocks again, or if I should do something completely new. It just feels kind of homey. And I'm not sure, but I, I'm i going to guess that it doesn't rain here either, which will help us so we don't have to deal with rain. Some cool little caves in here. Hey, Mr. Skelly. So, oh, and there's this one too. Hypno's living in a biome like this. This is called Redwood Forest. So pretty neat trees. So I'm, I like this area. And this is a really expansive red rock one. So if you look at the cords, we're like 3,500 blocks out. So not too bad. Let me see, where's my book? I know I got it around here somewhere. All right, so there's that red rock one. Oh, and there's also this really cool lake right in the middle of it. So I like that. I like that. Let's now look at the other one is this the close one or is this the one yeah this one is only i think that says about 800 800 blocks out so it's really close to spawn in fact yeah right there spawns 900 blocks away this one's pretty tiny but it also mixes in with this other neat biome which kind of is like sandy mixed with it Yeah, so I like it. I, I'm really feeling the red rock. I don't know why. I just like red. That red cobblestone. And this one's, I guess, kind of by an oceany area. Mixes in. I want to get some water in there. Get some blues. What is that guy? But, yeah. Again, let me know what you think. We gotta start planning this stuff before all the good spots are taken. Um, If I find... If I can locate that other one again that is by the green hills. The green hills are kind of cool too. So if I'm able to get a red hills and a green hills together, that would be so boss. What do you think, slimy? You, you got me all slimy. Die. All right, guys. So anyway, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks for watching. 
you enjoyed the video, remember to leave that thumbs up, rate, 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 because it really helps me out quite a bit. And uh, yeah, peace out.